Dear students, Assalamu alaikum. In our previous video, we studied that the nuclei with odd number of protons or neutrons have an MR active nuclear spin and due to this nuclear spin, they have a dipole moment. The direction of their moment is either clockwise or anticlockwise. <coughs> when an external magnetic field is applied, these nuclei arrange themselves against the magnetic field or towards the direction of the magnetic field. So these arrangement of the nuclei produces two type of spin states that is alpha spin state in which the nuclei are towards the magnetic field or the nuclei which are opposite to the are against the external magnetic field they are called as beta spin states so most of the times the alpha spin states which is at lower energy level is greater number than the alpha spin states so when an external magnetic field is applied so the splitting of these two spin state depends on the strength of the magnetic field the nuclei which are against the direction of the magnetic field are at high energy level and they are beta spin states while the alpha spin states are at low energy level and the gap between these two spin states increases gradually with the increase of the magnetic field strength. So the energy difference between these two spin states depends on the strength of external magnetic field. Today we are going to discuss what is spin flipping and how it occurs. <clears throat> when a nucleus absorbs the amount of energy, which is the difference in energy between two spin states, that is delta E, it jumps from lower spin state to higher spin state, that is from alpha to beta spin state, which is called spin flipping. So here we have shown in diagram that when electromagnetic radiation comes uh, and the frequency of the electromagnetic radiation in between 60 to 600 megahertz which is radio frequency wave it matches the spin states and the electro and the nuclei causes spin flipping and they jumps from alpha spin state to beta spin state or we can say that they jump from lower energy to higher energy spin state the absorption of the electromagnetic radiation by a nucleus will take place when the frequency of electromagnetic radiation is exactly equal to their precisional frequency or Larmor frequency of the nucleus and the two frequencies are in resonance hence the term nuclear magnetic resonance is used. So nuclear mean nucleus and magnetic electromagnetic radiation both are in resonance with each other. We will discuss type of spin flipping in our next one or two pages after. But before this, we are going to discuss what is Boltzmann distribution law. According to the theory of electromagnetic radiation, the spin flipping is directly related to the population of the nuclei in the two spin states. And we are representing the beta spin state in N minus 1 and alpha spin state in N plus 1, N plus and uh, according to the spin uh, these two spin states are nearly equal so there when the when both of these are in equal number there will be no observable nuclear resonance so according to boltzmann at 25 degree centigrade and external mag magnetic field of 23500 gas the n plus that is lower energy spin state is only 0.001 percent more than the higher energy spin state and which is enough for providing NMR signals. So the strength of the magnetic field when increases the more energy difference between two spin states increases and the more difference between these two nuclei will occur. By increasing the temperature the difference between the difference between the two nuclei decreases and the both sp uh, states becomes equal. So in this way the 
the nuclei the number of nuclei which are at lower and higher energy level becomes equal if the temperature increases so for nuclear magnetic resonance we have to maintain the temperature now what is gyroscopic motion of nucleus or larmor precision and larmor frequency which we uh, discussed that the larmor uh, when electromagnetic radiation is in resonance with the larmor frequency then nuclear magnetic signals are produced the larmor frequency nuclear spin axis moves around the axis of the magnetic field and draws out a circle perpendicular to the applied field this type of motion is called gyroscopic motion or precision the precisional frequency is called larmor frequency which is directly proportional to the applied magnetic field so here in diagram we are going to represent that if the nuclei is going to spin it has a dipole moment so this spin is about the axis which gives the tilted dipole moment and the it is the south to north direction when an external magnetic field b naught is applied so the axis of the magnetic field is in this direction and when this nuclei spin it causes a circular motion against this external magnetic field so this dipole moment or the nuclear spin is around this axis and it causes a angular momentum so angular momentum is represented by rho or omega naught here is the axis of the magnetic field and this movement this angular momentum is the precisional orbit or larmor frequency which is represented with nu and here is the axis of the spin uh, towards which this nuclei spin so this is the axis of the nuclear spin and this is the axis of the external magnetic field and both have both are in different directions so when the nuclear spin occurs it causes a this angular momentum now this larmor frequency or precisional frequency is directly related to the b naught which is the external magnetic field and we can say that it is equal to gyroscopic constant and b naught here gamma is the gyromagnetic ratio or constant nu is the larmor frequency and b naught is the external magnetic field and this gyromagnetic ratio is the ratio between dipole moment and angular momentum here we have shown that dipole moment is represented with nu and angular momentum with rho so it is the ratio of dipole moment and angular momentum of the nuclear spin we so the dipole moment is represented here which is nu and here is the angular momentum energy transition or spin flipping from alpha to beta spin state the particles undergo a transition between the two spin states or the between two energy states by the absorption of the photons so the energy of this photon exactly matches the energy difference between the two spin state which is of radio frequency wave region which is 60 to 600 megahertz so we have uh, shown that this diagram that uh, the spin flipping of the alpha to beta spin state and here is the energy which is absorbed by this nucleus this nucleus that is delta e is equal to h nu here nu is the larmor frequency and we we know that this is is equal to gamma b naught so here it is equal to h gamma and b naught so this is the gyromagnetic ratio so the energy difference between the two spin state is equal to planck's constant and gyromagnetic ratio and external magnetic field so if we know the gyromagnetic ratio of the nuclei we can find out the difference between the in, difference in energy between two spin states that is required for the spin flipping there are two types of spin flipping the frequency sweep mode and field sweep mode in frequency sweep mode frequency of the electromagnetic radiation is gradually changed by keeping the magnetic field strength constant 
so in this case the electromagnetic frequency is gradually changed and the magnetic external magnetic field is kept constant so this is called frequency sweep mode in field sweep mode the magnetic field is gradually changed so the strength of magnetic field is gradually changed by keeping the electromagnetic frequency constant here we have shown some gyromagnetic values of the different nuclei for proton the gyromagnetic ratio in megahertz or tesla is 42.58 for carbon 13 it is 10.71 for fluorine 19 it is 40.05 and for phosphorus 31 it is 17.24 higher the value of gyromagnetic ratio gyromagnetic ratio produces high or good nmr signals so the NMR signal depends on the gyromagnetic ratio of the nuclei and the strong NMR signals will be observed in case of proton due to the high gyromagnetic ratio which is the 42.58 and also for fluorine 19 which is 40.05 whereas in case of phosphorus or carbon 13 the gyromagnetic ratio is reduced or low so in this case we have lower NMR signals are not enough strength of the signals NMR signals the NMR signals for NMR signals we should know some parameters like the number of NMR signals position of NMR signals or chemical shift value intensity of NMR signal and splitting of the NMR signals. So in our next video we will explain the number of NMR signals and position of NMR signals that is chemical shift value and after that we will discuss intensity and splitting of the signals which is spin spin splitting. So in our next two videos we will discuss all these four type of NMR signals. So thanks for watching my video.